Hey, what's going on guys? Mark here, aka Planet Crash Bash, back on more Mad 16 Ultimate Team. And today, real quick, I want to talk about this all rookie player set. Um, I've been I heard a lot about it on Twitter. I woke up this morning and I'm seeing I want to talk about don't, you know, Vic especially had said if you do that all rookie set, you fucking retard. You're stupid. He didn't say that, you know, I'm adding words in there. But he just said, stay away from it. I don't know what he meant. I didn't think there was an all rookie set in the game. I didn't see EA tweet about it. So I knew something had to be up. Come in here to look, and I'm seeing you need to add 20 all-rookie collectibles and 10 gold badges to the set, and you earn 1,000 coins of one rookie all-team player. Well, let's check out how much the freaking uh, collectible goes for. It goes for about... Okay, a lot of people have been putting up for a... Uh, so I guess someone had a lot, and they're putting it up. But for around average, I've seen it go for about 4K coins, and then you got people putting it up for cheap. But if you only get it for about 4K coins, this set's going to cost you, just in collectibles alone, 78,000 coins. Keep track here. 78,000 coins for 20 all-rookie collectibles. 10 gold badges, which essentially go for about 4K a pop. Or if you... Yeah, okay, so they go for about 4K a pop. Now you're at roughly 100K... 100,000 coins for this set. Why is this set so bad? And then, okay, yeah, you know, you completed you at minus 1,000. You had 99,000. Okay. Phony math. <laughs> so, here's my only gripe with this. If you go in the auction house, which, let's actually go to the auction house real quick. And be also, before we end this video, I do want to give a brief, just a brief, my opinion on this position hero set. And I'll let you guys know my opinion on that. But let's go to the auction house real quick. Because I want to show you why this set is more than likely not going to make you any coins at all whatsoever. So here we go. All players. All rookie team. Cheapest guy up. Uh, what is this guy's name? Danny Smith or something like that? Is it? Don Donovan Smith. My bad. Donovan Smith. 5,000 coins. Cheapest all rookie up. More than likely you're going to pull him. I, I mean, with... Come on. Base, all right. Out of odds, your odds of pulling him, very great. Your odds of pulling this Gunter, very great. Kikahana, very great. How much they go for? Nothing. They don't go for jack shit. All right, and you know what? Actually, let me not cuss. I don't want to cuss. I don't. I don't want to curse in this video. I'm gonna try to keep that to a minimum. Mobby, Hunter. He goes for about a, uh, Daniel Hunter. He goes for a, uh, about 12k. Still not making your coins back here, ladies and gentlemen. You're still not. Walford, 14k. Still not making coins back if you pull them. I mean, you got a nice player. Although Austin Safarian Jenkins, in my opinion, is about the same card. But mm, I digress. Hunter, again, you know, nice card, but not making coins here. That's the ultimate goal, is to try to make coins off this set. So make profit. Preston Smith, I think he's new. You're not making... He's going 15k. You're not making any coins off him. Anybody else in here new? Uh, Diggs. That's okay, 60s. Stefan Diggs, he goes for about 65k. Ooh. Okay, not... Okay, I'll put... His stats look nice. I, I'm just seeing this card. Love the stats. I love them. Great player... To use 65k, not making coins back. Oh wow, this Adrian Amos, 95,000 coins. Great player to a team, not making any coins back. This Marpet, Ali Marpet, he does not go for 98,000 coins. I've seen him for way less, unless that was a snipe. He's going for way less, but just seeing this one, 98,000 coins. You making your coins back? No, because if you sell them, you gotta take tax out. You gotta take tax into uh, flourishing. Now you got Marcus Mariota. Marcus Mariota. Your only hope, as of right now, your only hope to make 100,000 coins back after tax. Depending on how much you have to undercut for. If you have to put this card up for about 100 and... I would say, what would be the cheapest? I think 120 you put up... If you put it up for 120 and it sells... For, you take the tax out. I think you're really cutting it close on making even. On breaking even. So, as of right now, this Mariota is your only chance. Out of how many players? And what are your odds of pulling them? Fucking shit to none! Dirt! I mean, again, let's say, okay, now if you don't care about that, you just say, oh, I only want the high overalls. I want good players. Okay, you got a lot more options in there. Depending on who you see is good fit for your team. And you have other things. But then again, you could just buy them off the auction house instead. So if you just want the players, go buy the damn thing off the auction house and not count on the freaking set. It makes no... Why? I don't get... My whole thing is, I don't get why they're adding all rookie collectibles now. Why does this set exist? 
What, so you can make it to where it's harder to pull all rookie players? And I don't know. Now, again, I don't know how common these collectibles are because I haven't pulled any packs. And I'm not going to freaking do that. That's stupid. I've already spent over 900k, almost a million coins in pro packs these past 2-3 weeks for Ultimate Legends. Haven't gotten jack shit. Same deal with all rookies. Haven't gotten jack shit. Team of the week? Nada. Not a damn thing. I, I'll... I haven't gotten anything yet. Okay, my pack luck may not be the best. You've seen people like Vic, who pulls, which I'm happy for him, by the way, who has pulled two Ultimate Legends in the past two weeks. Jason Taylor Boss. Uh, I'm not going to spoil his latest video. I'm not going to... Uh, yeah, video, wow. I'm not going to spoil one of his latest videos. I'm not going to spoil that one, because that's fucking great. But my the, the pack luck lately, especially, you know, for me, I've always seen beginning of the year, it's great. End of the year, it's shit. Vic, eh, opposite of me. It's good in the end. Now I would say not as good in the beginning. That's how it's always been. It's a little joke. But yeah, the, the, the all rookie set, guys, please, for the love of God, don't, 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 don't. I cannot emphasize this enough. Random car driving. But I cannot emphasize this enough. Don't do the damn set. It's not rewarding. You're not going to make any coins off of it. Don't say, oh, what if I pull Mariota? Yeah, Mariota, one out of how many? You're not making any coins back. You're not. You're probably going to break even. In fact, even if you sold Mariota, you're still breaking even if not making coins back. Just depending. His price is only going to go down. Just buy the players off the auction house. Why the freaking go the collectibles even a thing? I don't know. So, now we got positionals. Okay, now, I have, I, I originally, I was, I, this is the second time I'm making this video because the first one, time around, I kind of tricked myself into thinking these sets like the collectible was a hundred thousand coins again but it's not it's actually the pro collectible has gone down so quick opinion i'm gonna use quarterback chris harris jr set for example because in my opinion out of all of them this is the bitch okay so as you know with positionals you need 25 any 25 gold cornerbacks not bad any 15 gold or excuse me any 15 elite cornerbacks Again, not bad because you can find a lot for cheap, especially when you look in the different programs. You don't need base elites, you just need elite. So you can find in different programs players for cheap. Trust me, it works. You need speci five specific elites. Pat Pete, Joe Hayden, Chris Harris Jr., and Vontae Davis. Vontae, I think, is the most expensive one. Due to the fact of his high overall, 89 overall elites and up, usually go for a lot of, you know, a lot of coins. Another random card. Excuse that. Then you have the two biggest, and I fucking hate myself for this one because I had these bastards not even four weeks ago, five weeks ago, somewhere around that time frame. I've always pulled, they Philip Gaines I've always pulled. Never thought he would, well, I, I knew he was going for a lot. He's about 50k coins. Once upon a time, 50k coins. You know how much he is now? 269. 299 because that thing's about to sell. That 269 might sell soon. I am, I'm just so mad at myself that I didn't have that card or kept him. Same thing with Drake Kirkpatrick. How much is Drake Kirkpatrick going for now? About 50k coins. 70k now. Shit. And when I had him, he didn't go for that much. But he, he was still a good amount regardless. Josh Norman, about 150k. And then you got, you know, the random roll of the playoff cards in there. But still, this is the thing that has been, I guess, the biggest, you know irk with the community is this cornerback the the collectible anyway and all of them now when the set usually first comes out everyone always says oh wow the collectible is going for 150,000 200,000 coins yada 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 same with the fullback uh one this one's going for 20k the rest are cheap now but when the set first comes out in those first few days the collectible is just od expensive how hard is it to pull out of packs well i'll tell you right now i started pulling packs when positionals came out i still haven't and that was about 900k coins by the way still haven't pulled the collectible still haven't nope not one so i'm pulling it. again my pack looks probably shit the elite badges i really can care less because it's so easy to get an elite badge now it's not even funny so yeah uh, really, if they just went back to last year's thing, I I would think it would go better with the community, regardless, if they put that collectible back into, uh, solos. They made it like last year, where you did a solo, you got the collectible, and so that way, you have, you know, it, that way it's a lot easier. Now, of course there's going to be the rare gold, someone's going to say, oh, well, there's this fucking rare gold in here, well, too bad. 
there's always going to be that set. Same thing with captain sets. Now, I noticed uh, fullback Patrick, De uh, what is it, DeMarco, D'Amico, uh, DeMarco, yeah, DeMarco, my bad. Uh, one uh, golden here that I saw a few minutes when I was first doing it was Henry Hinoski. I thought, well, GG doing this set because that motherfucker goes for about 100k coins. GG. And then the collectible, and then you got Anthony Sherm and John Coon are about 150k combined. So, yeah. GG doing that set. And on the positionals, I mean, I like the players. Anthony Barr and Delaney Walker, very deserving. Same thing with Chris Harris Jr. Very deserving. Patrick uh, DeMarco... I... I've honestly never heard of this guy, so someone phone me in. I've never heard of Patrick DeMarco, so I can't say anything on that. But again, the stats on the players look very, very nice. I'm not going to lie. It's just the means of getting them. Very, very annoying. And I think all positionals, in my opinion, positional players, since we're towards the end of the year, should be around the 98, 99 overall range. Again, that's just me. Getting to that point where you should start adding in some of the best players. But... That's it for me. I'm not. I'm done ranting. I'm, I'm done talking about these sets. I'm not giving them any more attention unless they're really good. Positionals will try to cover even more, but that all rookie thing has. Got, I'm no selling for the rest of the year. I'm no selling it. Like, I, I'm, what is it? What's an all rookie set? I don't even know now. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, go and hit that like button. If you want to see more content, support the channel. Go and hit your. Go and hit that subscribe button. I'm more AK Point of Crush Passion. Before I go, guys, real quick in the comment section down below. What is your honest opinion on these sets, the uh, promos so far, the programs? I'm calling them promos. Same definition in, in a sense. The programs, the players, the rewards, everything. I want your honest opinion on everything in the comment section down below. Take it easy, y'all. Have a safe one. Peace.